welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem. It's been a long time since I've recorded this, since I've been recording this, but I'm finally back for this because we finally got on a pirate ship. Remember, Fargus's ship sails along smoothly. At last, they spot a fog-enshrouded isle on the horizon. According to Layla's information, the enemy is gathering there. Darren, the Marquess of Laos, the Black Fang assassins, the mysterious Nergil, and his henchman, Ephidel. As the island draws closer, Hector hears death whispering on the wind. This is Fire Emblem Hector Story, Chapter 18, Pirate Ship. Now that it's new, we've already done it before. Elowood! Huh? If you're looking for Elowood, he's, he's talking with the captain. Oh, I won't bother him then. Do you need something? I'd like you to stop pouting. This pirate ship is the only way for us to go to the Dread Isle. I thought you understood that. Was I mistaken? How I feel or what I think is no concern of yours. Elwood told me about your parents and those bandits. But those pirate but these pirates? You don't seem they don't seem like bad fellows. It wasn't just my parents. My entire tribe. Everyone was killed. They poisoned our drinking water. The people were in such pain. They could hardly stand. That's when the bandits attacked. They waited until we were defenseless. My father put on his put me on his horse as I escaped. Just me. My poor father. The pain must have been terrible. He lifted me up. His arms shaking with his last breath. Now do you now do you understand? I was found unconscious by another tribe. I woke ten days later. When I awoke, when I felt the bodies of my people had already been buried. I never even had the chance to say farewell. My last memory of my father. He was broken, dying. I can still see the axes rising and falling. It... it's not... Hey! What? What are you doing? You're a strong woman, Lindis. I thought you would not want anyone to see you cry. You're such a fool! If you think that's what, that's what I want, then why not just leave? I... I lost my parents, too. You... It was illness that took them. Nothing like what happened to you. Still, I wanted nothing more than to cry like a little baby. And yet, I couldn't cry. Not in front of others. And when I was alone, I found I still couldn't. So, I simply thought... I don't know. You, you really are a fool. There's no way to... You can't just... Ahoy! There's a small door! The door you drift to the port! Someone's on board! Tell the captain! Are you serious? We're having a moment here. But... Actually, looking at Lindis' backstory and what happened to her... That explains why she would help me. Like, the... By me, I mean the protagonist, the tactician. That explains why she would go out of her way to help a complete stranger. Because that's what happened to her many years ago. And I never knew this. They didn't have this cutscene in Elowood's story. So this is pretty cool. Well, let's go see this boat. Oh yeah, remember this happening? Oh, Elowood, you're here too? Elowood, you're done talking to old man Fargus? You saw us. No, I heard you gone off with him. You learn anything? We can trust him. We got lucky finding him. Hmm, if you say so. 
Hey, you two, come here. They pulled the Dory aboard. I wonder who's on board. It's... It's a girl? Oh, you there. Me? Give me a hand, will you? I don't know where to... G grab her. Okay. Such the gentleman. Stow it. Hmm? Ninian? Ninian? Wake up! Unbelievable. What are the chances? Do you know her? She's how Linus and I met a year back. I rescued Ninian from a band of villains. Please, Ninian, open your eyes. Ninian, can you hear me? I... Are you well? Why are you on that boat? Where's Nils? Why isn't he, be Why isn't he with you? Ninian? Linda, something's wrong with her. Who? Who? Oh. Captain? Pirate ship's approaching from the northwest. Do they dare attack Captain Fargus and the Davros? They must be mad. What flag are they flying? I've never seen that pattern before. Their seas belong to us. Whoever they are, they're in our waters. This is a day for strange occurrences, it seems. Who helps watch your own hides? We've no time to waste on you. Oh, what? Ah! Water! All's been breached! We're taking on water! Breached? Scum are more dangerous than I thought. It's bad, Captain. We need all hands below deck, or we'll sink. Take care of it. I'm going to carve these scallywags some new... We'll need, we'll need your help! The water's up to the galley! We must come below, Captain! Fargus, leave the enemy to us. Fighting is something we're good at, but a sinking ship? That's your affair. You have to do something, or we'll all drown. We'll deal with things up here. Please, hurry! Fine. The deck is yours. Be back as soon as we've plugged the breach in the hull. Go! Off they go. Lynn, take her to that room. I will. Here they come. So they want Ninian. All we have to do is survive. And thankfully, I've got a good team here. Oh, I want to take Raven with me, because he's good. Same for Canis. Maybe Lucius. Let's see what we got here. Nah. It's been a while, so I'm just refreshing myself and what's going on. Uh. Hmm. I think I'll leave Urk behind. No need to bring him, I'll, so, but I'll bring Raven instead. Uh, Oswin's a really good dude to bring. I guess I'll leave Canis behind, or... Oh wait, let's check the map. Map. Uh, right, we have Swordsman on the right, and an Archer. We have Druids. Shamans. Shamans on the left, and a, fly, a bunch of Pegasus Knights. Yikes. Hmm. Well then. This is gonna be tricky. So I would like to bring Lucius. But I don't think I can use him that well. In the circumstances right here. Because then I have to leave someone behind. And I don't know who that would be. Oswin is really bad for this, actually. Because they're all magic users. And, um... He's not for magic. So I'm leaving him behind, and I'm going to bring... Um, uh, Canis. Will he help? Lucius. Uh... Well, it's either Lucius or Canis. Lucius would be very good right now. Or not. He's pretty weak. But Canis is just good overall. I'll take Lucius this time. Uh, is there anything else I need to... Oh, yo. Dorcas has stuff. 
Um, iron axe and a hand axe. Who can have that? Oh, it's either Barter or Hector, I guess. Take this other hand axe. Because I'm going to use that a lot. And I don't need anyone to give anyone this iron axe. I'll just switch those out quickly. And let's see what else. Hmm. I don't think there's anything. Oh, yeah, cast is flux and all that, whatnot. Alright, so that should be good. Uh, do I need to transfer anything? I was wondering if there's anything new that I got, because I forget. Steel axe, I'm going to need that later. Steel bow? Uh, heal, sleep, unlock. I don't think I'll need any of that. Ah! I forgot how many of these I had. And Hero's Crest for Myrmidons, Mercenaries, and Fighters. Huh. Bard is level 9, though. Uh, by Myrmidons, Mercenaries, and Fighters. So that's Raven and Barter. Uh, I still have a long way to go. Priscilla has... I want to give her something else. I can't not sleep, though, so I guess not. Alright, to change formation a bit, I'm going to have Lucius out front. Front center. Raven there, too. Um, go back. Formation. Lowen's up there. With Rebecca. By the way, what do you have? I feel that one of these people have a... Yep, there we go. Longsword. Longsword are very good against the, um, dudes on horses. And therefore, you want to watch out for that. And we've also got an archer with a red gem that it'll drop, and it'll do to the Lance Reaver. So you want someone with axes there. Uh, yeah, you want, since you want someone with axes down there at the ready, just move the stuff around. I guess I'll move Hector and Florina. We'll keep a distance, but Hector will move down there quickly, and I'll send Lucius and... Lindis and everyone else down there in the bottom left with Matthew Matthew over here trying to go down because we have this guy with pure water pure water vulnerabilities this guy this dude Zoldum is one of the Black Fang sent to recapture Ninian and he has a speed wings which is it increases your speed by two and let's see what else we got this guy here has a guiding ring which we will, which we could want to have, because we've got uh, Priscilla up here and Lucius and Canis, I guess. But err. So basically, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna be careful. All right, let's let's get going. Map. Let's let's get going now. Merlin is leveled up. Luigi, is that you? What is it? No, I'm fine. I'm not seasick at all. Thank you for your concern. I'm like Guy, who was. Ahoy! Can you hold the deck until reinforcements arrive? Who, me? I'm Jake. Hmm? Hi, I'm new in the Davros crew. Huh? You heard about me from Anna? Oh, so she's worried about me. That warms my heart, my friend. Let me give you some information. We've got merchants aboard. Buy what you need. Buy what you need from them. This is the armory. This is the shop. We'll be able to stock up once we reach the Dread Isle. Buy as much as you can can carry while you've got the chance. All right. See you, Jake. So, um, Bo's movement is pretty bad, so I can have Florina go stand over here. Unless... Okay, good. I want to make sure it can't make his way there anyway. No, that's still bad. Where's that... This, uh, this dude has the long sword. Long sword is not super effective against Pegasus Knights.
So let's see what she can do. Can do 11, but that's not enough to kill him. For, in one shot. Uh, let's just not risk anything and just have Linda stand right there. Let's get Hector down there. Uh, let's get some... Let's get some damage started and have Lucius attack this Mr. Mage here. With lightning! As long as you have Lucius with you, there's not much to worry. Especially if you train a Lucius, like during your last fight, your last um, playthrough. So, up next is these guys, and they're too far away to help. Not my problem. Uh, let's have Rebecca. Do you need a, a level up, or let's get Rebecca to finish him? He could use it. She could use it. And he could use this too. Level up. Already starting off on a good note. Awesome. Now. Yeah, he's going to run up and die to Lindis. He's going to probably run up there too. I'm worried about these dudes because they're just... Uh. I have so many swordmen, but only two axe wielders. I want to make sure they have, like, they're just right there, whenever they need to be. All right, let's check out the armory. I have a feeling I missed something. My merchants. No, I guess not. All right, let's check out the armory. Is there anything I'm gonna need from here? Um, I think I have enough javelins, although... No, I think I'm, I'm good for there. Let's check the arm vendor. Flux, lightning, thunder... I think I'm good here, too. If there's anything I want, I'll be sending Matthew over here. So he can pick up some javelins. But because his inventory is full... We'll go straight to Merlinus. Get steel lances, steel sword. And another hand axe. Good measure. Awesome. I really should have brought uh Urk just for the just for the this. Uh Unfortunately, this movement really has nothing else to it other than wait for them to strike. And let's move Elwood down here. He's a Lance Reaver. I forgot all of what my characters had in that long break from Fire Emblem. Alright, so that's the dude with the longsword. Or not. Dude, the longsword's right behind him. That's right. Lindis levels up. That's good. I didn't want to put Elwood right there, because he's a little not durable. Yep. And there's the Pegasus Knights. And there's the dude with a guiding ring. Alright. Now that this archer's here, this dude has the longsword. Let's get Raven up there, and not be able to kill him. No, I could. But the Bowman right there. What's your movement, Lindis? It's five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. As long as nothing ha like goes wrong, I can do this. Now then. Raven goes over. Does a lot of damage to this mercenary right here. Mercenaries are really good because they have a lot of HP and deal a lot of damage. But no defense. Just pointing that out. Um. I could just have. Uh. I could just send uh, Lowen up there. But what I want to do is send her over here and just 
take the guy, take this one dude out. Use my steel bow. Save shots that way. Now, do I want to risk? Do I want to risk? What did this do? Nope. I could send Loan to take him out. That's not too accurate. Or I can send. That'll be way too accurate. Take him out. Actually, wait. You can just go over there and. Oh, that would kill him, though. I think I'll call that uh, backup plan. Oh, but that's not accurate enough. Oh! Sure. Why not, Florina? Go for it. And now I don't have to worry. A red gem. Lovely. Let's send it to Merlinus. Now I've got to beat that dude. With a javelin throw. And I got a long sword. I'll send that to the... And this dude has a lance reaver. Oh, snap. Are you serious? I'm sorry? Oh, I can't go and take care of the lance reaver. Um. Okay, Hector. Um. Go over there. Pick up Florina. There we go. Yeah, he should be, he, they'll be fine. Uh, what else is happening? That guy. He's, he's not too close. So they'll just, oh, come very close to taking him out. He's gonna get hit if he goes up there. By, oh, that's a lot of attack. Lucius, what can you do? Eight. Good. As long as Barter hits. Yes! Hello, what can you do? You wait for them to walk up to you. And then Lucius takes this dude out with a critical hit! Lovely! And a level up. Okay. I might actually use Lucius instead of Canis this run. Just because. Alright, let's get Matthew up here. Merchant. Um, turn in that Iron Sword and Iron Blade, because that's bad. For a Steel Sword. And a Red Gem. And also give up your Vulnerary temporarily. For a... Long sword. Actually, I'll leave the red gem where it is. I don't need to sell anything anyway. At least not right now. Okay. Um. Oh, whoa, that's close. I think they were. My dudes are just about done moving. Uh. Yeah, we're good. He runs up to Hector and makes a very bad mistake. Beat him with a hand axe in close combat. Nice. And I got pure water. Uh, Merlinus? Oh. Okay. One shot. Lovely. Oh, there's... Oh, snap. I'm sorry. I, I just think this. With this Mimerodon with Armor Slayer. And I'm like, no. I don't want anything to do with that. Um, Mimerodons, as you can as you can tell, are the complete opposite of Raven here. So... I kind of don't want to deal with that. Uh, 
Oh. Oh, great. Alright, let's have Rebecca take take a shot at him. Iron bow. And have Lowen finish him off. Uh, should we... Yeah, let's just use a Steel Lance. <laughs> Level up for Lowen. There's another one for defense. Oh, his, his spear weapon level increased. So now it's... C. Not that bad. Alright, Raven. Um... Go, go for it. It's that 1% chance of a critical that freaks me out. Every time. Yikes. All right, that. Oh, get over there. Yeah. All right, Matthew. Now then, you moved closer, and you're still right there. But I can't get to you. Oh, but you can get to me, can't you? Yeah, you can. Well, then I better make sure I get you in one shot. Thank you, Barter. Guiding ring. Send that to Merlinus. Uh, Lucius can stay right there. Lindis and Elowood can be right here. Actually, I think I'll send Elowood over here. There's gonna be more reinforcements, I bet. And he goes over to Lucius. Nosferatu! Oh! That's the healing tome. It does dark magic damage, but it heals if it hits. It heals you by doing the damage. So basically, he would have healed five, but... No. So now let's go heal Raven. Because he took some serious damage. Awesome. Now let's back away. Actually, we're gonna form a wall. He's gonna stay right there. Now then, Florina has something to say? Uh, um... Uh-huh. Uh, I... I, um... Huh? You say something? Guess not. Ah. These people have the weirdest conversations. That wasn't even a conversation. That was just weird. Well, I guess that was their first time speaking, I guess. She looked like she had something to say to him. Hmm. Well, in any case, what's this guy got? Pure water. Okay. Barter? Can you take care of him again? Nice job. And there's this guy. Who has a speed wings. But it's Luna! He has Luna spell. That's a very dangerous tome, which I've already went over. Basically, it it pierces your... It's a really weak tome that pierces the magic defense. But it has a high crit rate. Oh, you're back. Um, Barter? Could you please take care of these dudes? They're kind of in my way. Yeah! And he levels up. Nice job. Now, if I recall correctly, I'm gonna want to move these guys. Actually, I'm yeah. I just remembered. There's something very important I need to do with these with my dudes. 
Um, I'm gonna want people right here. And we're gonna need to heal Lucius a bit. He's very important for this fight. Enemy turn, they're attacking Elowood. I would be a little frightened, but Elowood's actually pretty good in this one. The random number generator was pretty forgiving. Oh, cool. See? He can just take him out with no problem. I'll probably need to heal him, though. But no problem. Relatively speaking. Alright, let's get Priscilla near him. And let's get Hector over there, I guess. Um, I might want to keep her over, like, Florina right here. Lowen's good right there. Support with Hector. Wow, he has a lot of friends. Sure. Good day, young master. How fare you? Oh, Matthew. I've heard you're quite strong, you know. But if there's anything I can do to help, don't hesitate to ask. Just say the word, and I'll swipe healing bombs for our very enemies. I might just ask for that later on, yeah. Say, aren't you a bit hungry? Uh, now that you mention it, should have brought more rations or something, I guess. Leave it to me. I thought we might have we might have need, so I packed some before we left. Here, I put it in your sack there. That was thoughtful. I mean, hey, what are you doing putting it in my in my pack? You're a strong young master. That's not the point. Man, I thought my bag was heavy before. You don't give your master extra to carry, got it? Ah, but you're always so generous, my lord. I oughta. Man, why do I always get stuck with all the lame henchmen? Uh, young master, wait up for me! Matthew's so awesome. And kind of a troll. So... Hand axe. Nothing! Huh, that's pretty uneventful. Not what I was expecting. I think I'll heal Elwood though. Because Priscilla needs the EXP and Elwood needs to live. I see, what level is she? Five? Eh. Hmm. Move around the enemy ship's stern. That's where they should be waiting. That's where they'll die. I knew it. And now they attack. And now they die to Lindis. Slim swords. The Monokai is the best sword ever. Like, seriously, it's overpowered. And it goes over to Lindis again. Oh, what? Please don't die, Lindis. Please. Oh, good. You can't reach. Oh, seriously. <laughs> Lindis? 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 Don't die on me. Um. Run. Get out of there and run, Lindis. <laughs> That's not good. All right, let's let's mend her because she got down to one health. That last one was forty-four percent accuracy. Oh, she got better at using staffs. That's good. Hmm. 
So, now these will be easy. Just get... Shame I can't use Hector to take... No, Elwa to take him out. But Linda should do well. I mean... Florina. Shaman's easy. Myrodon's a little scary. A little scary. But, she's got it. She has a high critical hit rate, now that I look at it. It's an ordinary Iron Lance and it's a 10. And she levels up. Nice. And you've got nothing in, in particular important? No? Okay. I have a feeling more dudes will spawn out of there. But I'm gonna have Lowen take this guy out. One shot! Okay. And now we're back to winning. And I think that's all the enemies. Nope, nope, nope. I was wrong. Okay. Um. Uh. Five Pegasus Knights just appeared. Okay. Okay. Okay, what are their range? They, oh, yeah, they can move like seven. This one isn't gonna hit anyone. Same goes for this one, and this is going to hit Loan. Going to have to get rid of this, these two, though. As long as I do that, oh, then they'll go for the people we sent. Alright, Loan. Yeah, you've got this. They can't even hit you. Hector 2. Actually, Florina, what can you hit? Actually, what does this one have? The, are they just basic steel lances? Iron lance. Steel lances. Okay. Five for the iron lance, but the steel one might hit, might hurt more. But even though that's five, wait, what's your strength? Strength is attack is 16, but defense for her is 7, so that's. That'll hit for 7, if I'm calculating that right. 16. So that's 12, and we'll hit for 5, so. Yeah, that's how defense works. Alright, so I'll hit for 9. Alright, well, as long as Hector gets this one dead, then I'm okay with it. Take it out, then. And now I'm okay with it. And... Awesome! Actually, it may just avoid Florina altogether, I'm hoping. Because that, that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, lovely. Let's get Barter down there. Let's see what happens. Of course, it goes for Florina. Oh, eight. Still got her. Good job. Now I just gotta hope more don't appear. No damage! 17. Loan is so overpowered. 
Or at least well defended. What? 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 Oh, it's a diversion. Just gotta go back up now. And get rid of you. What are you doing here? Like, go away. So many counterattacks. Still needs more defense, but okay. And up we go, Hector. Now, who who just spawned? Armor Slayer. Myrmidon. Alright, Raven. Ellawood. Drop EA just in case. Now, let's see what Matthew and Lindis can do. I don't think I can get close to him, though. Oh. Oh. I don't think I want to move. I'm hoping he doesn't move. Oh. I'm hoping he does not move. I didn't realize I put Matthew in the line of fire. Uh, oh. Oh, great. I did not realize to put Matthew in the line of fire. Please don't move. Okay, good. Normally, a boss moves. If he's going to move at all, he moves as soon as it gets his turn to move. As soon as it gets... As soon as the turn starts. But thankfully, that didn't happen. Yeah, see? Which means he isn't going to move at all. Um, I'm just gonna check. Nope, 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 nope. So, Raven. Um, take him out. Uh, I'm always so worried about Mimerdons because that 1% critical rate. But Raven levels up. That's not bad, too. That's, that's pretty good. Alright, Elwood, take that guy out. Really? If you work like that, he hits it twice? Use your RP and just finish him. Good job. So glad more didn't appear. Oh, uh, there's Priscilla. And let's heal her. Hmm. Well, I guess that's all. Uh, Matthew, get out of the way. Now that I remember about it, get out of the way. Okay. There they are. Ahoy, I'm back! Now, who wants to die first? I think it's that dude over there. Ah, ha, ha, ha! We've routed them. Thanks, for your, thanks to your quick work, we've managed to survive. Hey, he helped us. Uh, Ninian, you can't come out yet. There's blood everywhere. Blood? Look out! Uh, I'm sorry. You okay, Ninian? Good thing I... He caught her, I guess. Ninian? Is is that me? Is that my name? Ninian, what happened to you? I... My head... It's so foggy. Am I... At sea? Yes. We find you adrift in a small boat. Those scum were after the girl, it seems. Will you take her with you? My, the men are afraid she w well, she might be cursed, you know? Cursed? Are you suggesting we leave Ninian behind? We can't take her with us. Can we? We're heading for the Dreaded Isle. It's dreaded for a reason, you know. Regardless, she goes with us. Lindis? When I first saw her, I remembered something. When I saw her, I remembered something. The last time we saw Ninian, 
She and her brother were being hunted by some dark-robed men. Dark-robed? Are you sure? Yes. I think it must be the Black Fang. It didn't occur to me before, but now I'm certain. How can you be sure? So, how can you be sure? I can't explain. There's something in the air that hints at their involvement. If that if it's true, then she's likely to be attacked again. Almost certainly. We can't leave her behind. I will watch over her. Please. I understand. We should be by her side to protect her. Thank you. We're all going to that island. Will you come with us? Yes. Please. Take me with you. Something in the air. Are you some sort of hound? Are you mocking me? No, the opposite. I'm in utter admiration. Say, Elwood. When I left Ostia, I was attacked by a dark-robed group. Hey, this is new. What? Why didn't you tell me this before? Because you weren't playing the my story. I mean, many people hold a grudge against Ostia. I didn't think it had anything to do with this. Until now. Hector, do you think... They were all wearing very distinct black robes. I don't know about something in the air, but... I'm convinced they were related. What in the world is happening in Lycia? Father... Thus we landed. We've arrived. Thank you very much. We'll wait two weeks. Finish up by then. That's more than enough time. And I've got a half-wit sailor who wants to go sightseeing. Come here, Dart! I'm here, Captain. Ready to serve. We're pleased to have you. His only redeeming feature is his sturdiness. Maybe it'll come in handy. Come on, Captain. I'm better than that done so much. I can't thank you enough. Come back alive. That's all the things I need. Alright. Farewell. We'll be back before you know it. There are good people. Even among pirates. I don't think the old man and his group were your average pirates. Somewhere within that forest is the Dragon's Gate. Completely turning this to a different topic. Hello, Wood. No matter what it takes, we're coming back with your father. We'll surely find him. We'll all do our best to make it so. You're right. Let's make preparations to enter the forest. Oh. Dragon's Gate. Ninium? What is it? It's... nothing. That battle wasn't as bad as it was before, and... in uh, Elowood's story, because Elowood is much stronger now. Anyway, um, so yeah, that was a great chapter. I'm really liking Hector's mode, because they're adding a lot of things that wasn't in there to begin with in Eloa's story. So, well, maybe I just have that bad of a memory. Anyway, this is Let's Play uh, Fire Emblem. I'm Luigi564D, and see you next time.